I don't think I can do this. Of course you can. Jojo Rabbit is the story of a little boy and his imaginary best friend, Adolf Hitler. People used to say a lot of nasty things about me. Oh, this guy's a lunatic. Oh, look at that psycho. He's going to get us all killed. When you first read the script, you said... I said, absolutely. <laughs> now, that's partly because um, as a tall Englishman with blondish hair, you're always going to get the corner play a Nazi at some point. <laughs> Hello, Hitler. Whenever I try to describe the film, I'm like... Go down like a... This is just... <laughs> like, I, know, I, know, I, know, I never did. I was like, it's about the... The Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded crazy. Um, <laughs> but the script itself was such a beautiful piece of work. It was perfectly written. You knew it was going to work right away. Set at the end of World War II, the movie follows a lonely 10 year old who identifies as a member of the Nazi youth to fit in. Hi. When he discovers his mother is hiding a Jewish girl in their home, his journey becomes an inventive, hilarious, and totally unexpected coming-of-age story. We got Kim here. Yeah. Written by and starring Taika Waititi, a New Zealander of Maori and Russian Jewish descent, he relished the poetic justice of playing Hitler. Yeah, isn't it nice? Isn't it satisfying? And I saw just how ridiculous it looked, and it was it was really empowering actually. Yeah. It made me feel like oh. Oh, I can, I can actually own this person's body and make them do what I want. Watiti also directed the film. I have to ask what it is like to be directed by someone wearing a Hitler costume. <laughs> I think he knew that he had to kind of keep his cool because it was extra frightening if he, um, if, yeah. he did, if he lost his cool. Right. Sometimes it's weird because he's, he's so nice. He'd be like, you're like, hi, and you'd be like, you're Hitler. <laughs> Nothing makes sense anymore. Yeah, I know, it's definitely not a good time to be a Nazi. The absurdist humor seems light at times, but ultimately it reflects the darker absurdity of Nazis and their beliefs. Let's get a book and let's go. Libraries are dumb. Waititi believes that's the true power of comedy. It relaxes people and it opens them up and then they let their guards down and you know, see people like this watching their art films. And, yeah, they open up and... The receptors uh, you know, are more receptive than you hand them the message that fascism is bad. <laughs> sad that some people need that, but yes, good yeah, message. No, it's end. really sad that we still need to talk about this. Right. <laughs> this That's... film shouldn't need to exist. <laughs> but audiences will be so glad it does exist. Dancing.